Four minutes after five happening this weekend, a big event hoping to bring business back to a community hit hard by red tide. It's hinging on improved conditions. Parts of Pinellas County are seeing this morning. That's the good news. ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner is live in Clearwater where businesses are preparing for big crowds. Good morning, Adam. Good morning there. Yeah, I'm in Coachman Park this morning and right behind me we've got one of these incredibly large and fast race boats and businesses are hoping that as these boats hit the water this weekend, you're going to hit the beach this weekend. Finally, perhaps getting people back to Clearwater. Uh, the Super Boat International usually brings in about 150,000 people to Clearwater Beach. And despite the threat of red tide, this year's race is going on. In fact, it usually brings in about $20 million to Clearwater Beach businesses. This year they need it more than ever. And the businesses down here tell us they are finally being booked up for the first time in weeks. This beach will be packed and open for business. Instead of just seeing cancellations, we're just simply seeing the lack of business now. Phones have been ringing off the hook. Is it safe to come down? Now, race organizers tell us they are going to be monitoring red tide conditions, but they don't expect it to impact them this weekend, especially on Sunday. They're expecting clear water. Uh, now, some some beaches here in Pinellas County uh, are experiencing the impacts of red tide. I'm going to break down where exactly we are seeing it this weekend. That's coming up in the next half hour. For now, live here in Pinellas County, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.